Hello everybody and uh, very good morning. So it's time for us today to talk about something very interesting feature of the HTML because this particular session which we are recording it for you it is designed dedicated for HTML based hands-on. So in this HTML based hands-on we are expecting that all of you are aware about the basic concept of HTML as well as the CSS. So this kind of learning is going to help you to understand like how HTML and CSS can connect together while offering you a mini application. The first application on this track we're going to offer you that is related to your HTML registration page. Okay. So as you know for this particular registration development application I would like to use the Visual Studio Code which is one of the very very popular tool provided by Microsoft. So this tool we will be using it for our mini application development. So let's get started with this. So step number one, let me go back and create a new folder now. I want to create a new folder name for registration. And uh, inside this I would require two files. Number one is called index.html and another one that is called CSS. We can say app.css. So in index.html file, we want some standard development so I want to start with my HTML tag so I already have this HTML base autofill code provided by your Visual Studio code so there are plugins that are available inside this so that you can automatically create the basic structure for this HTML which you can have the HTML tag head tag as well as the body tag and from this point onwards we will start developing our code now so i want to develop a registration page so in this registration page i will start from my form tag now so inside this form it is saying like form action to something i really do not have any backend so i just leave it as a blank and here i will start with my h1 tag where i want to say register after this register i want to offer the paragraph tag where i can say please fill this form to register with us register with us okay now after that i would like to start with horizontal row so hr so starting with my horizontal row and uh, post this because see we would like to organize our application and now label in this level 4, I just want to give the name called FN, it's just the name and uh, after this, FN stands for the first name and within this level I would like to use a B tag which is a, I would say the bold, here I will pass first name, bold tag is closed, it's a label, inside this level I would like to use input tag, here I would call input tag equal to text and uh, offer a few other details also like uh, I say a placeholder placeholder will offer you what to be filled I'm saying first name that is the placeholder value after this name equal to fn that is a stat for first name after that id id is optional but if you want to pass we'll use this id fn id equal to fn and uh, required because i want this field cannot be blank so this is my first text box where i have this first name with me like that i will go ahead and talk about my next property called password and for password also i would like to have the similar details with me so this label i'll copy and paste it below and this is for your password. So we're giving the name called PSW. Here we are saying password and uh, input table to text. So here I will change input table to password because password field details would not be visible to you. Please, here we will say placeholder. I can say enter. Password name equal to we can give PSW ID equal to we can give same PSW. So 
we have a called password in a similar line we would like to offer the confirm password fields too i will copy this line and paste it again and here we can say confirm password you can say cpsw again password enter confirm password cpsw and cpsw now it's over after this we want to make it as a horizontal row closed and uh, once it is run then we'd like to have the button with this so here is the button we can say register and here in my button i would like to offer the type equal to submit are equal to submit so that's it so this is the simplest form i have it now i would like to see how it really looks like in so from here i would like to open it reveal in finder let's open this well it looks like that fine so this is what my form is form is ready and now we would like to go back and start developing my css in which i will beautify my form to offer some more details on this well friends as we know the html page is ready it's time to go back and start developing a css to beautify my html now so inside the css i would like to start with the tag which is a call body and uh, inside this body tag i can offer some basic setups but i just want to give the basic background color now which is called background hyphen color i can just give the name called tel that's a background color let's rest of the things i can just leave it as it is now for all the other properties i can say box sizing auto hyphen box after that dot container container and in this container we have to offer certain benefits now first thing you need to understand which are the places i will be using the container so you see here in my index.html file uh, when we talk about form actions and all okay we say h1 register we haven't used any container right now so let's get added the container dev class equal to container okay and uh, this particular div tag will get closed only at the last so this div tag will close at the last here so i want to make the look and feel for this complete container in much more better way so here in my container we want to say margin auto is present here margin auto now width 50% then adding 16 pixel followed by background color which we want white then box shadow this box shadow we want to give some all four origins 20 pixel continuation to same 20 pixel and 0 pixel and which color we want so i just say rgba in this rgba just give the value called 0 again 0 again 0 and uh, the value which you want to give to this alpha because it, it is always between 0 to 1 we are saying 0 0.7 that is an opacity well four properties is given now let's see how it looks yeah why because we haven't added a css in my html so let's add the css so inside my browser 
HTML. Now inside my head, we add link link rl equal to style sheet href equal to app.css. That's it. Now let's see. There we go. Looks better now. So this is your container. Okay. Which you can see it is having some shadow. Now I would like to organize this all set of text boxes in much more better way. So after this, we want to offer the other properties too, like in form of input. Go back to my app CSS. So after this container, we want input. Input again type equal to text. Now also to input type equal to password here we offer few things number one width which is hundred percent after sorry then padding one second fifteen pixels then margin we are offering five pixels zero twenty two pixel zero followed by display display I will say inline block inline block followed by border do you want any border so I say none border none and background we can offer the color so we can say white smoke that's it let's see in my html awesome so this looks more beautiful more organized so this is your form but i want to make it even more better now because i want to perform the validation and in validation we want to check how the focus will come in so the beautification needs to be added more here we want to offer the same input type text input type password i copy this here now here we want to offer background color we want to offer the background color on focus this has to be on focus focus and here also on focus now background color we want to change to anything but for the time being we can just give same and uh, outline none okay so this is my for focus and for the registration button so here we say dot I do not have that class for register button so I have to create this class inside my button register btn I would like to offer the properties for those like background color t followed by color which is white then padding we offer 16 pixel then border none then cursor I think it is better to have pointer only then width 100% followed by margin this auto then opacity then I say 0 0.8 fine so this is for my registration button let's see Wow, this looks better now. So this is a full size button. So this is for my button, and I want the moment I take my cursor on button, 
the color should change or it should look like it hover copy this hover and here we say opacity I just with the value called one that's it now you see now the color is changing great so like this you see how the conditions are working when I press on register you see the messages please fill the field blank and it is changing the when we talk about the situation called focus so in this it works like that when i give the name you see now how the background color is changing now so it is a little bit more grayish color so friends this is what your registration page with the basic setup having this html as well as the css together okay hope you enjoyed thank you very much Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.